Hello me TBDs, welcome back to my channel and good morning to you guys. When I am filming this, it is bright and early in the morning. It is 6.43 a.m. So I definitely need my coffee and it is snuggle season. So I know that my background is all like springtime and stuff, but right now it is currently um, negative six outside. It's crazy, crazy cold. So I wanted to sit down and do a full face of nothing new. I saw Casey Holmes do this and I thought it was such a good idea. Like it gives me an opportunity to play around with items that either I use a lot or I don't use at all. And just remember some of the items that I haven't used in a while or just use a lot and love. So if you like these kinds of videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Is there a bug in there? Ugh. I'm currently sitting on a heating pad and I think that's like the most brilliant idea I've almost ever had because it makes me all like makes my back all warm and stuff. I don't know about you guys but I'm ready for a vacation. I'm sick of this whole like working everyday thing. <laughs> Alright I'm gonna start off with using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I also did just clean all of my brushes, so they're all nice and pretty. That's about to change, but you know, feels nice when they're all clean. Let's take the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer. This is an oldie, but a goodie as well. I really like how this just fills in my pores without making me break out. Last night I was actually struggling hardcore. I pushed it too far with moving boxes upstairs and every time I moved a box I had to climb a bunch of stairs and my knee really started to hurt like really really bad and then my back really started to hurt because apparently I don't lift boxes the way I'm supposed to. I used it like I used my back for all of it and I, I should not have but now I'm like having trouble leaning over and stuff so um, I'm happy that I have this heating pad on and I was icing my knee for quite a while last night. But currently I am trying to get all of my videos filmed for the next couple of weeks because we do move here on, let's see, we have officially moved into the house on the 15th of March, but we won't have all of our stuff in the house until the following weekend because we are painting. I won't have like my filming setup available until at least like the 24th, 25th of March. So I'm just trying to get ahead of it and film as much as I can. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I'm using. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Foundation. I love this foundation. It's a little off shade wise, like it's a little too dark for me, but the finish is insane. I love how my skin looks whenever I wear this in videos, but I do think that it can break me out. So I try not to wear it like multiple days in a row. I told myself when I woke up this morning that this week was going to be a very productive week. I'm going to get a lot of stuff done and be prepared for the whole moving process because I planned ahead. But that planning ahead also means waking up at 5.30 in the morning, which is not very fun. Because I do work. If you guys are new to my channel at all, I work. I'm in a therapist in an elementary school so I have to be there during school hours which means early <laughs> dragging it down my neck a little bit seeing as my back already hurts and we haven't even actually physically moved I've just been moving boxes upstairs what advice do you guys have for not feeling like this after I move and maybe it's just like unavoidable I don't really know I'm gonna go in with the elf 16 hour camo concealer I don't know if you guys have any advice I'd love to know how to not feel so dang sore after I move what are those things that you put in baths to make your muscles not feel so sore is that like mineral salts or some something maybe I could try that if any of you guys have tried that stuff isn't the brand like Dr. Teal's or something at Target I'm gonna take it down the center of my face as well And I'm not kidding when I say that my back really, really, really hurts. Like, I had a very hard time shaving my legs this morning. I basically had to, like, lean most of my weight onto my leg with my other arm while I shaved because I could not sustain my weight just 
on my back. Oh, this combination is so pretty. Let's take the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Setting Powder. This stuff is so good, but it's so messy. I love my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but I'm currently out and I'm trying to use up some of my other powders before I have to go out and repurchase that powder. Oh my gosh, clean brushes feel so nice. Next, I'm going to add some NARS Tinted Eyeshadow Base to my eyelid. I think I'm going to go in with the Modern Renaissance palette today. I haven't used this in forever, but it's so good. I'm for sure taking this heating pad to work today. <laughs> so I am curious if you guys would tell me what the weather is currently like where you live right now because I thought that we were done with this whole cold front here, but apparently not. But I am curious if spring is in full swing, <laughs> that rhymed, where you guys are. Here in Colorado, spring tends to be the month that we get the most snow, weirdly. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. I have used this so much that it does not clip in anymore. It's broken and I don't know why. Gosh, I haven't used this brush in forever. This is the Morphe M527. This used to be like the only brush that I would bronze with, but I found it and I cleaned it. So now I'm using it. <laughs> For blush, I'm going to use just the blush I have in front of me. This is the Mineral Blush from Becca in the shade Songbird. I just love the tone of this. It's so pretty. It's a very like muted terracotta bronzy type of blush look. And I... I really like it. I think it's so pretty. Then for highlight, I'm going to go in with this Smashbox Spotlight Palette in the shade Pearl. I love this palette so much, especially mixing these first two shades together. It's like my perfect highlight shade. It's not too overpowering or like too blinding. It's just, that's it on my face right now. It's so nice. This is a palette in collaboration with Casey Holmes and I believe that they're still available. So if you haven't tried it out, you definitely should. I know they have multiple shades. All right, I'm all glowy. Oh, I just need to take a break, sit back, let this heating pad do its thing and drink some coffee because I'm really tired. All right, let's do eyebrows. I am going to take my regular Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in the shade Medium Brown. It's a little bit darker than Soft Brown, I think, but that's okay because my roots are a little darker so I can pull it off better than I can if it's like been a while since I got my hair done. I feel like this foundation just totally sinks and melts into my skin making it look very natural and just not too heavy, not too cakey, but it does keep me pretty matte throughout the day, which I really like. It can be hard to find foundations that keep you matte, but don't make you look overly cakey or too matte. Like flat matte is not a good look, at least on my skin. Oh gosh, we're just making the brows really big today. Then I'm gonna set my brows down with the clear brow gel from Anastasia as well. With the whole packing thing, I have not been reading as much just because I don't have time. I'm trying to pre-film and I'm trying to make sure that we are ready for moving day with all of our boxes packed and that kind of thing. So I feel like I haven't been reading as much, but this week, one of my goals is to get back into it. I always try and start the week with like goal of what I want to achieve that week, whether it's getting all the boxes packed, being on top of like filmy. I don't know. I just try and have like a main goal that I can work towards to be able to put myself in like a good spot for progress, you know? One thing and the I'll show you when we get into the new house, but one thing that the house has that I super love is a loft area and I really want that to be like my little reading nook and eventually I would love for Chris to build me some type of little library Thing, like with built-in you know bookshelves with like I would love a ladder on it I, I don't know I just we have really tall walls in the new house and so I want to take advantage of that since I was young I've always wanted this giant library it's like a princess bell fantasy of mine but I just think that looks so cool now let's start doing eyes I'm gonna take the Anastasia modern renaissance palette I almost just dropped all my brushes in my coffee that would not have been good 
I'm gonna take the shade Burnt Orange right here and start putting that into my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Red Ochre on a smaller brush, maybe this one right here, and start putting that into my outer V, and then I think I'm gonna top it off on my lid with the shade Primavera. All right, next, taking that Primavera shade on my finger, putting this on the inner part of my lid. Oh, this is just such a pretty combination. Like there's a reason everyone loves this palette. I also just love Anastasia's shadow formula, like in general. I'm gonna go back in with that original brush with no extra product and just make sure that the crease is blended. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and smudge maybe a cypress under underneath my lower lash line very lightly and just like on the outer edge right here. Next, I'm gonna add some mascara, my regular CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. I just cannot get away from this mascara. Like nothing else, in my opinion, beats this. The way it like lengthens and volumizes my lashes and the price. I'm moving this closer. I cannot lean forward like I normally can. Then I'm gonna take this nude MAC pencil and we'll line my waterline with it. It is in the shade NC15 NW20. This helps brighten up the eye look and not make it feel so like closed in. Then add some mascara to my lower lash line. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the makeup look here. I'm not going to add any lipstick or anything because number one, I'm still drinking my coffee and two, I do have to go to work today. I don't normally wear lipstick to work. So I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me apply a full face of makeup minus lips using nothing new. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!